Homestead Handyman here. What a load of chickens we have here. Well, this new group here is getting ready to start laying pretty soon, maybe in the next month or so. And uh, I got to provide some boxes. Well, I wanted to do something cheap and easy. We have those metal boxes that have, uh, I don't know, eight spaces in there for the other chickens. And uh, they work good, except that they only go in one or two of the boxes. So what do we need all those for? So I'm going to make something here that is going to be cheap and easy to do. And so let's get started. All right, so here we are in the shop and we're going to get rolling here. So this is the premise for making these chicken boxes. What I'm going to do is use these uh, plastic containers. These are 12 quart. They're about 16 by 12 by 6 inches high. And uh, I got these at a dollar store, something like that. Target. Target. Got them at Target. Uh, anyway, you can get these at a dollar store or wherever. Now, um, so these are going to be where the hens are going to go in to lay their eggs. So I'm thinking it's going to be with something like this here. And then um, the other two over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll hang this up on the wall inside of there. Now, what we're going to need is in the front is a, uh, a little roost for them to jump up onto and then go in and out of there. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to need. So I have these containers. I got some screws, inch and a half screws. I had some old plywood and it looks like it's about 5 eighths plywood. Circular saw, tape measure, drill, and then I have some 2x4s. Uh, I had a couple of new ones. I got a couple of recycled ones. So I'm going to use all this stuff and then uh, we'll make a place for the uh, chickens to start laying the eggs in. Alright, let's get going. Come on, let's go. Okay, so I have some pieces cut up here. These are going to be the sides here. They are 16 by 24. 16 by 24. So there's going to be a side because you're going to have these containers here. Let's put this here. And we're going to have a side over here. There'll be the middle and then there'll be the side because I'm going to stack them like that and then like this. So. Imagine that. This here will be the right side. It will sit in here like this. This will hold it up in here. And then it will hang out the bottom because these are going to be elevated. So what I did was I measured up to the next one where the next one's going to be and I figured out that um, Let's see here. And I believe it was eight inches. Eight and a quarter was going to be a good size for my containers. So rather than have to keep measuring them and everything, once I get this bottom one attached, I just go and cut these pieces at eight and a quarter. All I got to do is hold it up there like that. Make sure it's tight. Put it square on the back. And a couple of screws in there. Now, these pieces here, we'll go over this here. This will start to come together as you'll see what we're doing as it comes together. Alright, so we have this here. 
like this, and now one will sit in here like that, one will sit in here like that, and that's enough room for the chickens to get in there. Now you see there's additional hanging out the front here. What we're going to do is put a roost that comes across here and attaches to these so the chickens can jump up, get up on the roost, and then just jump right in their boxes, their individual boxes. Now, there's going to be across here, let's have a look, we'll just use this piece here. There's going to be a back that goes across all the way uh, across to here. And what I've done is I've made some pocket holes right here to attach the back so it'll make it a little easier for me. Now, if you don't have a pocket hole tool, that's okay. You just come in from the back and, and put some screws in there. All right, so now you can see that well, we got this here. I'm going to go ahead and assemble the other sides and the middle. So let me get started with that, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now you can start to see that it's coming together here and that this here is going to be a roost right across here for them to jump up here and then get in there. Uh, so we'll see how that's going to work out. I'll figure that out as we go along here. Now, uh, one thing that I forgot to tell you was that I found some other scrap around. And so for these pieces right here, what I ended up with was... Um, one inch by inch and a half by 20 inches so that would be for these here and it looks like I needed one two three four five six seven eight of those now I'm going to work on uh, cutting a piece for the back there and then we can get that all attached up and squared away Okay, so I started assembling it. Now the back piece is 28 and 3 quarters by 30 inches tall. I put these two sides together and that's where these that's where these pocket holes are very helpful. You see right here when I've already drilled the pocket hole, they make a little jig to do that. And then you could take this screw in here and put it right back in there. So, for instance, I come over here, put this one, line it up, find my drill, and just drop this right in there. Okay, so I measured for the roost. Now I'm going to put a piece in the front here, in the front, and then I'm going to put probably one over here a little bit further back for, the, for them to get up and to uh, walk in there so they have something to grab on at first. So this measurement was <coughs> 27 and 3 eighths. 27 and 3 eighths.
so now we have these bins that fit right in there like that like that okay good now I think I'll put it like this here and here and then put a small roost right up against there There we go. And that will hold this in here a little bit. Alright, looking pretty good here. Alright, so let me get these attached. Alright. There we go. So that is looking pretty dang good. Now what we need to do is put some kind of roof up here. Let me adjust the camera here so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so you see I made the back a lot taller here so that we can just angle something right across here. Get a general idea here. Yeah, you see that? So just like this here. And yeah, there's a little ventilation up there. And so the chicken could come right up here and jump right in there. The bottom one will be good. Looks like we're getting something together here. Alright, so Carolyn came out and took a look at this. And um, she found something here that was a flaw or something that I didn't notice was going to happen. As the chickens come up here and jump up here and they go like this and they go to get in and they step on the edge, you see what happens. So that's not good. So what I did is I cut some pieces, four of them, and uh, these will fit right in here if I can get it to do it. So that'll fit in there and I'll just get them screwed in there. But now, once it goes like this, it hits and so that alleviates that problem. Plus, the beauty is you can take this out to clean it because with our other one what we have is sometimes the chickens will get in there and for some reason the egg will break and even though you have straw or whatever you have in here it still gets yucky in this box and so um, we'll be able to clean it out very easily. Alright, let me get all these pieces attached All right, so I, uh, I got these pieces in here, and they work really good. Put them in here, boom, boom, nothing happens. All right, so the next thing was that I put two pieces of wood here, one here and one here, and this one is dropped down a little bit so that the edge of the roof will go back here. So I've cut the uh, roof. Now, I'm going to provide a parts list, that I, uh, a cut list of the stuff that I made so it'll make it a little easier for you. Of course, that's just going to be a rough idea. Uh, you know, it depends on what size your containers are. So, here's the roof. So now I'll be able to screw it on to here and to here. Lovely. I left it because I wanted it hanging over a little bit, like an inch on either side and uh, a little bit in the front a little here. Now, hopefully the plan is that this here, that it, when they fly up there to try to roost at night, that they'll slide off of here. I don't know if that's enough angle, but what I plan to do is wax it or maybe put some polyurethane, something that will make it uh, very slippery. So if they get up here, it's just not going to be comfortable for them to try to stay up there. All right, well, we're moving right along. Oh, the other thing that I'm going to do now is I'm not going to install the roof till I hang the unit. So I'm going to drill some holes back here, and I'm going to use lag screws to uh, put this uh, up with on the wall. And then along the back, 
I'm going to take a board and put it along that's approximately the length of this across the back and then what we'll do is take the whole unit and it'll sit on here and then I'll just tilt it up and put a couple of screws in so the weight will be on the back here and going into the wall. So I'm going to go uh, take this out there and uh, get this thing um, installed and uh, hopefully pretty soon uh, these will be filled with eggs. Alright so let's have a look at this thing. I got it all mapped it up here so like I said down there is a 2x4 that runs across and uh, it's sitting on a couple of lag bolts in the back here into the wall and then just screw the lid on here. I put a little wax on here so it's very slippery if they try to uh, go up there and now the boxes are just easy to remove and clean at a good height so I can just see in there easily and not have to uh, bend this old body over to get down there to get the eggs. So I think, uh, I think that it turned out good. So I hope you like this video. Uh, this is the Homestead Handyman. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if, um, if you think this is good stuff. Alright, thanks a lot. Homestead Handyman, out.